Well, Door County's storied maritime history is well documented at some great museums around the county. And with over 300 miles of shoreline, there's plenty of shipwreck lore to go around as well. As a result, scuba diving is a very popular activity. Divers can explore several hundred shipwrecks that are scattered off the peninsula's coast, and local dive charters are available to take you to the best ones. Now, for those of us that don't scuba dive, we're in luck because the Wisconsin Historical Society has put together a great maritime trail system up here in Door County that tells you all about some of Door County's most popular shipwrecks. Well, our tour's first stop today is at the Bailey's Harbor Town Marina, and the historical market they've got here talks about the Christina Nielsen. This wooden schooner was 139 feet long and sank in 1884 during a blinding snowstorm. High winds forced her into a reef near Bailey's Harbor, where she sank and still lies today. My next maritime trails marker stop was between Ellison Bay and Gills Rock in the northern part of Door County. The schooner Fleetwing sits about 100 yards offshore at the bottom of Garrett Bay and sank back on September the 26th, 1888. The wreck is scattered along the lake bed in anywhere from 5 to 25 feet of water, making it an ideal location to explore by either snorkeling or if you're in a kayak. Next, I headed for the Lake Michigan shoreline and Whitefish Dunes State Park where I found another maritime trails marker. This one featured a shipwreck from a two-masted wooden scow schooner called the Ocean Wave, which sank in 110 feet of water after striking a floating log on September 23, 1869. I'll tell you, with as wavy and as windy as it can get out here, it's amazing more of these ships didn't sink out here back in the day. Leaving Whitefish Dunes, I headed south and west to Old Stone Quarry County Park to check out some on-land shipwreck artifacts. Located here is a recovered stern from the Miller, a two-masted wooden screw steamer that sank in about 10 feet of water just offshore. For those that don't scuba dive or snorkel, it's a great opportunity to see part of an old 19th century shipwreck up close and personal without getting wet. Just across the water from Old Stone Quarry County Park is one of Door County's 10 historic lighthouses, Sherwood Point Lighthouse. It's been an active aid to navigation for sailors since 1883 and was the last manned lighthouse on the Great Lakes. After 100 years of having a lighthouse keeper, it was finally automated in 1983. Other maritime trail markers that I've visited are located on Cana Island next to the Cana Island Lighthouse, the Northport Ferry Dock, and at Schoolhouse Beach on Washington Island. My final tour stop was at Lakeside Park in Jacksonport to check out the Reynolds Pier Maritime Trail Marker. Well, Reynolds Pier used to sit off the shore of what is now Lakeside Park in Jacksonport, and because of low water levels, you can actually see the pilings from the old pier still sticking up out there. The historic marker details the demise of two schooners, the Perry Hannah and the Cecilia, both of which sank near Reynolds Pier in the 1880s. This is really a great spot for snorkeling. The two schooners aren't too far offshore, and you can also get an underwater glimpse at the old Reynolds Pier. They've also got some maritime artifacts on permanent display here in Jacksonport. They've got an anchor and a capstan. Now these two artifacts weren't pulled off of the two schooners that lie right off the beach here. They were found on a schooner about 1,400 feet north of here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Door County's maritime trail system today. As you can see, there's a lot to explore even if you're not a scuba diver. And these historic markers definitely make these shipwrecks a lot more accessible to the general non-scuba diving public. So I hope you can get out here and experience this Door County maritime trail system for yourself. So until next time, we'll see ya.